Hello. Hello everyone. Good to see you. We are the Bulls Nest. And we are back on YouTube. After one year. Yeah, we had a, we, we needed a break or we did a break because we needed it. Um, yeah. This is Dirk, my dear husband. And this is my uh, wife, um, Andrea. a little summary about us so we are Germans um, and we yeah. came to Florida in 2014 yes from Spain so we moved from um, Mallorca Spain to Florida to open a German restaurant uh, that was an amazing idea the schnitzel lodge is the name yeah maybe so, you know it so we um, took over this uh, spot uh, made a little bit uh, remodeling renovation and then we created a menu a typical schnitzel menu and we opened uh, this restaurant and um, maybe we give you a few impressions about uh, what we did uh, After a few years, we opened a second location in Valparaiso called uh, Bosnas Bosnas German Imbiss. Yes, an Imbiss is a kind of a German-style fast food. It's not like uh, you know this. Not like McDonald's. Or better. Well, everything is better. <laughs> um, Anyhow. Yes, and after almost nine years, or after eight years, we made a decision. We want to change in our life because it is really hard uh, uh, restaurant business. Uh, we, we appreciate absolutely the time and we met wonderful people and met wonderful friends and uh, it was we have so wonderful memories but we made a decision. We were exhausted. We needed a change. We wanted to change our work-life balance. Because my wife is not getting younger. <laughs> But he is, of yeah, course. Yes. Yeah. So we made a, a really big decision. Mm -hmm. We changed our we, we changed everything. We changed our life from restaurant owner to, to digital nomads. Yeah, that was a big step. Yeah. That's what we are since one year now. Yeah. We big. live on the road. <clears throat> yeah, but before uh, to make this challenge, there was uh, we needed it was almost a year preparation. So we had to sell uh, the locations. And by the, the way, locations. The locations. The locations. The locations. <clears throat> um, and uh, the schnitzels, for example, uh, we sold to a wonderful lady. Um, and the, the restaurant name now is Schnitzel and More. Check it out. By the way, um, it would be awesome because we don't get money for this video when you support us by clicking on the like button. And the next thing is also uh, on YouTube, not on Facebook or, or wherever. On YouTube, go to YouTube, go, go to YouTube, <laughs> look for this video, uh, well, you're watching this video, just click on the thumbs up. Subscribe. The what? Subscribe. Yeah, yeah, and subscribe. And, and thumbs up. Yeah, and, and subscribe is, and is important because we want to tell you about uh, our journey. And I'm sure you want to know. Yeah, you want to know. Oh, yeah, yeah. You want to know. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you don't want to spend money, so win-win. Yeah. Did we say where we are right now? No. We are in Oaxaca City in Mexico. Yes. Oaxaca's history goes back thousands of years with ancient civilizations like the Zapotecs and Mixtecs leaving a lasting impact. The archaeological site of Monte Alban, built around 500 BCE, stands as a testament to this rich past. When the Spanish arrived in the 16th century, they brought new influences that are still visible in Oaxaca's colonial architecture today. 
What makes Oaxaca truly unique is its deep connection to indigenous cultures. Many locals still speak native languages and traditional crafts like textiles and the famous alabrijes, brightly painted wood carvings, thrive. The Guelaguetza festival held every July celebrates these rich traditions with music, dance and colorful costumes. Oaxaca is also a culinary gem, famous for its diverse molds and adventurous foods like chapulines, grasshoppers. Markets burst with local flavors and the region's signature spirit, mezcal, is a must-try. Today, Oaxaca attracts travelers, artists and digital nomads with its vibrant art scene, stunning landscapes and relaxed atmosphere. From its ancient ruins to its modern-day charm, Oaxaca is a place that captivates and inspires. Amazing. But we tell you later. Oh, we have yeah, yeah, we yeah. Have, later, later. We have so much to tell you. <sighs> okay, from the beginning. As we said, we made a decision. We want to change our life. We want to have a better work-life balance. Oh, yes. And we, we knew we have, well, obviously we have to change something. First, we need an income. Uh, it doesn't matter where we are. So, a remote job. Second, we need a rolling home. Yes, so we need something where we can live, where we can uh, be at home. So we decided to sell everything and buy an RV. And it is a compromise. Yeah? So many people say, well, 30 feet, it's uh, for normal people, 10 meters. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's small. Yeah, that, that is right. But we had to learn something. We have to change our mind and we have to learn what is important, what we really need. Yeah? So when we sold everything in our uh, home, in our house in, in Valpi, we had to make a decision, do we need that? There's a difference between we want it or we need it. Yeah? Right. So when you, when you live in a 30 foot uh, trailer, um, you, you have to make a decision or you have to really know I need it or I want it. Yeah? And at the end, you will figure out you don't need a lot. If you made this transition, you feel amazing. You, you really feel amazing that when you, when you see what you need or better what you do not need and that save you money in, in the future absolutely absolutely yeah then the next thing when we uh, talk to people it is oh this amazing idea where will you go and we say we want to go to mexico they say, oh yeah yeah they say oh that's that's dangerous yeah say like, what, do you, what do you what do you mean dangerous yeah this is a crime and say have you ever been in chicago okay we bought an rv that was exciting. You yeah. said that already. Let me say it again. We, we bought, bought an RV. Let me say that. <laughs> when was it? That was 2023 October? No, September. What? September. What, when we left? Yeah. We left Valpi, our hometown. Yeah, 1st of September 23. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was exciting. Yeah, that was. Whew. So, and we give you a few impressions. Um, we, we went to uh, we, we went to from there yeah we oh oh my god there was this spring we went was, to alabama to the spring there was our first ground yeah there was a, our first campground yeah there was a, a spring well with water you know and, and <laughs> well it was summertime and it was hot so and i said yeah so yeah we have a, a, a own spring um to, and then it was so cool. We stayed there for was a week or two. We, By the way, we found a uh, uh, remote job, both in the same uh, company. company. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the universe still wants us to be together at work. Obviously, yeah. we have um, a small uh, office office space in inside, yeah. and Andrea loves to be outside. And at six o'clock in the morning, it was the start when we were starting the our job. She was sitting outside, so sunrise and the first birds yeah. are yelling. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
so in the in, in, a, in a, it was really really great and, and a fantastic experience mm -hmm. and then we we went we had to do something at the german embassy not embassy consulate consulate and we needed i needed a new passport so we went to yeah. georgia to, uh, we went to, to another campground in a state park uh, yeah. in Ad, uh, south of atlanta yeah. it was our next stop yeah we stayed here for a while mm -hmm. that was really it was uh, state park forest uh, and it was great waterfalls yeah. okay. by the way if you're interested about uh, digital jo digital normal jobs um, remote jobs we will cover it also in a later 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 we, because later. we have time we have so much time yeah and then we went to <laughs> from there we went to Florabama to the Mexican border because Mexico was our did we say that that we wanted to go to Mexico yeah, that was the plan we are yeah. right now in Mexico in yeah. Oaxaca city yeah yeah, yeah? so we, was we went closer to the Mexican border so and that was I, I don't remember the name of the city but there was a kind of a um, just for oil right. oil workers it was um, Eagle Pass and uh, a few miles away there was a campground where only yes oil field workers yeah, that, that uh, was uh, pretty quiet they stayed in in uh, fifth wheelers there instead of staying in hotels okay. it was okay so yeah. that was the last few weeks and then and then water crossing <laughs> i have been talking so much i needed a refreshment now. it's a female thing so uh, <laughs> Okay, we, we told you, so the next step was crossing the border, that was last year, 23. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, yeah, yeah. we crossed the border. And that was an own journey. And uh, I would say, we will tell you about the border crossing and what happened next in the next episode. But you have to subscribe. Yes, that's important. And give us a thumbs up. That is way more important. It would help us if you're interested in something. So, uh, for example, hey, tell us have, more about uh, the, the restroom situation in RV <laughs> or uh, the toilet paper situation <laughs> in RV or, or something like that. That, that is yeah. important. It is. That's yeah, true. That was a big question. Oh, so yeah. What oh, kind yeah. of toilet paper? Yeah, how many layers and so we will tell you about this and our uh, adventures in the next episode. Okay, see you!